and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about another simple yet useful concept in spreadsheets, the idea of combining and separating data. Sometimes when we are using spreadsheets, our data comes in from different places, or we decide we would like to look at our data in different ways. One very common case with this is around student names. One of the very useful features that we can use in spreadsheets is the split function. Let me talk to you about what that means. For example, sometimes student names are put into a single column where we have the first and last name. What if we wanted to have only the first name show up or only the last name by itself? Maybe we're making a chart or labels and we don't need the full name. We could look at our list and start typing in the first name in one column and then the last name in another column, but this would be silly and take up time. Why not get the spreadsheet to do the heavy lifting for us? The second formula I'll show you is how to combine the data together using the concatenate formula. Say you have a bunch of names that are already split into first and last name. You want to go the other way. You want to now combine them together. Maybe you don't want just those first or last. You actually want that full name. We can do that using the concatenate formula. This combines multiple cells together. On a side note, there is another formula called concat. It works in a similar way, but it only combines two pieces of data. Concatenate will combine many cells together. Let's take a look at how we can use the split and concatenate formulas now. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the split formula. Here on my class roster tab, I have my full name in column C. I would like to separate that into first name and last name. I can go ahead and type in the first name here, and I can type in the last name here and go down. Of course, that's going to take a long time. Let's use the formula, the split formula to help us. So in cell D2, I'm going to go ahead and type in the equal sign because I know I'm going to be using the formula. And I will start typing the word split. You'll see it start to show up there. You can either press the return key or you can continue typing, whatever you would like to do. So I'll go ahead and press the return key and it gives me the open parentheses. Now, what I, what I need to do is select the text that I would like to separate or to split. So I want to separate Jim Riley here. So I'll go ahead and click on that cell and press a comma. And now it's asking me for a delimiter. And a delimiter is what is the, the thing that you want to separate it by? What's the value? What's the, the symbol? Something like that. So between Jim and Riley, we have a space. And what we can do is we can symbolize space by typing in the double quotes, clicking the space bar once and typing double quotes again. That shows the formula that we're talking about a space. So when I'm done with that, I can close parentheses or I could just press the return key and it would go ahead and do that for me. And now you can see how the first name, Jim, is in column D and the last name, Riley, is in column E. Of course, I can go down into the next row here and continue the formula, but we've already learned that if we want to copy that formula down, I can just hover here, put my crosshairs in that bottom right hand corner and I can click and drag down and of course that will copy the formula for me all the way down. Now there is a bit of an easier way to copy formulas, so let me, let me show you how that is. So do you notice here in column C I have data? And anytime I have data going down, if I want to copy a formula, instead of clicking and dragging, and sometimes we have lots and lots of rows, instead if I put my crosshairs right over the corner there and double click the mouse button, it will go ahead and copy the formula for me automatically until it gets to a blank row. So that copied that all the way down. Okay, so that's a much faster way to copy that formula. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Say for example, I have a full name here where I have the last name, comma, and then the space, and then the first name, and I still want to separate these. I can still separate these, but I know that I don't want the comma in here. So here's what I can do. I've switched and I made in column D be the last name and column E be the first name because it starts with the last name. So I'll just go ahead and type in an equal sign again, start typing in the word split. And I know that I want to separate this data here. And I'm going to press return. Now my, delim my delimiter in this situation is a comma and a space. So we can represent that by doing double quotes again, typing in a comma, space, and then close quotes. Okay, and if I press return on the keyboard, 
then you can see how it has separated those names for me. And just like we did before, I can copy and paste the drag to copy and paste the formula down or just put my cursor over the corner here until I get the crosshairs, double click the mouse, and it will go ahead and copy and paste that formula in for me just like that. Okay. All right, let's go the other way and take a look at the concatenate formula. This is what we use when we want to combine information together. So the way that we do that is similar to the split. We decide what do we want to combine and then we put our formula there. So here I say, for example, if I want to have the last name and then a comma and then the first name, I want to combine those together. So I click here and go ahead and type in my equal sign and I'm going to start typing concatenate. And when you start typing, you'll see two options. We have concat and concatenate. Concat is when we want to just combine two things. So in this situation, James Riley, let's go ahead and give it a try. So if I click on concat and I say, okay, I want to combine James, comma, my second value, Riley, press return. I get this autofill. If you want to, if you like what it does and you want to autofill it, you can click on the check mark or you can click on the X to, to cancel that out. I'm going to click on the X for now. If I look at this, this is fine, but I do notice that I have a problem here. There is no space. So with concat, you can only combine two data points. I cannot put a space in here if I wanted one. So that's why instead we use the concatenate formula. So let me go ahead and redo this. And we're going to choose concatenate instead. And I want to get the last name first, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the last name, do a comma. And what I want in between these is I want to put a comma after the last name and then a space before the first name. So I type double quotes, comma, space, double quotes. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in another comma, and that's going to ask me, okay, what else do I want to put together? So now I want to put the first name. So I have three points here. I have last name. The item that I want to put in between those and then the la and then the first name. Go ahead and press return and now it, go it will combine those for me. Double click, that'll drag the formula down and now I have my last name, first name combination there. Just like that. Now with the concatenate formula, another thing to keep in mind is that it doesn't have to be just names. You can combine whatever information you would like. So you might have uh, a name and your student ID number that you want to combine and you can do that. So a lot of times we will combine a student ID number with like the last name to create an email address. So that can be done with the concatenate formula. So if I was going to make an email address, we could do equals concatenate and let's say that we want the email address to be the student ID and last name so I can type in click here for the student ID comma now I know I don't want a space because in an email address we don't have space choose the last name comma and then maybe my email addresses are all the same so if I put in double quotes at email.com and close quotes then I will have my email address already right there. I can go ahead and drag that down and it will create those email addresses for me for example. So there are lots of different ways to use the concatenate formula and the split formula. I hope you found this useful and I hope that you'll find ways to apply it to the work that you are doing. Thanks for watching. You can find out more at smithvisualizations.com.